So what you are currently seeing on the screen is a live ping happening over a site-to-site -site VPN over the public internet between two different geographical locations or sites. Now, if we take a look at the diagram that I'm bringing up on the screen, you can see that I have an OpenSense box running in location A, that's actually a Protectly box running OpenSense. And then in location B, I'm running an edge router, which is actually an edge router 6P here in my home. I'm not showing you the external IP addresses because this is actually a live working site to site VPN. However, on the LAN side of things, we have 192.168.100.0 slash 24 at location A and 192.168.25.0 slash 24 at location B here at my home. Hanging off the LAN here in my home, I'm just using my iMac, which is at 25.217 to send the ping. And then over at the other location, location A, we're using, we're just pinging the access point, which happens to be a U6 light at 100.25. And again, you can see the live ping happening here on the screen. So what I'd like to do at this point is just take you inside of each router to look at the settings to show you how I set this up. If you think that's of interest to you, then stick around. Okay, you, what you're seeing here on the screen is my OpenSense box. I'm already signed in and I'm over on the VPN tab. And all I did was click on IPsec and then tunnel settings to get to the screen. Now again, this is a working VPN, so this is the router over in location A. Remember, I'm in location B, and you can see I have full access to the router. Now, that said, what you have to do here is create your tunnel settings, a phase one and a phase two proposal. So you do that by hitting the plus sign. You can see here it comes up and says add new phase one entry. So if you don't have anything here, which you probably won't if you're setting this up for the first time, you'll hit the red or orange plus button to add your first phase. Once you have your first phase completed, then you can add a phase two entry. And we'll talk more about that in a second. But I've already got that done because the purpose of this video was just to show you the settings on how I got this site to site working between two different type boxes between OpenSense and an edge router. So that said, let's click on the edit icon to go in and look at the first phase. And you can see here we have the key exchange version. I believe it defaulted to version one. I changed it to version two. The internet protocol is IP version four. We're going to use the WAN interface. We're going to enter the remote gateway, which is the public IP address of the edge router over in location B. Then we're going, you can put in the description if you want. For the authentication method, we're going to use mutual PSK. The identifier will be my IP address for my identifier. The peer identifier will be the peer IP address. And then for the pre-shared key, you can put it in here. You make it something that you remember, but don't make it something that's obvious. Then for the proposal algorithms, we're going to use AES and you see I have it set here to 256. I have the hash algorithm set to SHA-256 and the Diffie-Hellman key group set to 14. And then I left everything else the same and hit save. Once you hit save, you'll be taken back to the main tunnels page, the settings page, and then you would add your phase two. Now we're going to take a look at phase two. We're going to click on the edit pencil. And we're just going to go over everything in phase two, like we just did for phase one. So the tunnel mode is tunnel IP version four. Again, you could put a description in for the local network. We're going to use the LAN subnet. And for the remote network, we're going to use the type will be network and the, put in the IP address of the local subnet over on the edge router for the phase two proposal. SA key exchange. The protocol is ESP. The encryption algorithms, I use AES-256. And then for the hash algorithms, I use SHA-256. And we left this at 14, and then I hit save. So let's go back to the tunnel settings page. And the basic idea here is whatever you do on this side, we have to make sure we match everything over on the edge router side. 
before we jump over to the edge router there's one more thing you have to do let's go into the firewall tab now let's come down and click on rules and then click on ipsec and you can see here i just have a basic pass all rule so that traffic can pass over the vpn so that's all you have to do on the open sense side now let's take a look at the edge router okay so now we're in the edge router and i'm in the location where the edge router is located at and i'm on the vpn tab and i'm clicked on the ipsec site to site tab you notice i have the firewall enabled where it automatically opens the firewall and excludes from nap the peer is the wan ip address of the other router in the other location so in my case the router at the beach house which is location a we put in the public ip address now you could use dynamic dns here but I found with edge routers, dynamic DNS, sometimes it gets a little funky and the site to site doesn't always stay up. So in my case, I do have public static IPs in both locations and the VPN has been stellar uh, running over a couple of months now. All right, so anyway, the peer is the WAN IP or the public IP address of the other router in the other location. Then I entered a description for local IP, I left it set to any. I entered the same pre-shared key or pre-shared secret that I entered on the OpenSense box. For the local subnet, you can see I have 192.168.25.0/24, which is the local subnet of this router. And then the remote subnet is that of the router over in location A, which is 192.168.100.0/24, and then again you could add additional subnets if you wish. But we're just going to go with this. You would hit apply and get your confirmation that the changes have been accepted. If you were just setting up a site to site between two edge routers, this is all you would have to do, and you'd be pretty much good to go. However, in the case of setting up a site to site between two different boxes we still are not done we have to actually go here on the edge router side and enter all the phase information so i'm going to show you how to do that we're going to come up to config tree and click on that and then we're going to come over to vpn we're going to expand that we're going to click on ipsec and the first thing i want you to do when you click on ipsec is make sure under nat traversal you enter enable and then apply that then we're going to come down and we're going to work in these two groups here so we're going to click on esp group and then we're going to click on foo and we're going to click on expand proposal and it comes with the one proposal i added the second proposal just by clicking the add button so we'll take a look at what i have under proposal one and you can see here for encryption, I matched what I have on the other side. It's AES 256. And for the hash, same thing. I matched what was on the open sense box of SHA 256. Same for the second proposal that I added, AES 256 and SHA 256. Now, if we come over and expand IKE group and we click on foo under the key exchange, on the other side, I made it IKE version two. So you have to change it here and make sure you match it to IKE version two. Let's expand the proposals. And again, I added a second proposal just by clicking the add sign. And now we'll take a look at the settings for both proposals. And you can see I have the Diffie-Hellman group set to 14, just like on the other side. The encryption again, AES 256 and SHA 256 for the hash. Looking at proposal two, we have the same thing. Diffie-Hellman group set to 14 and then encryption AES 256 and SHA 256. Make sure you come down and apply it by hitting the preview button and you should be good to go. So there you go, a quick down and dirty look at how I have my site to site VPN set up between an OpenSense box and an edge router 6P. I hope by sharing my settings, it'll help you achieve the same if you're looking to do something similar. And that said, if you did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out the other videos that I have listed here up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I want to thank you as I do in every video for using the Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions as always. 
please stay safe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.